Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to look at making our character uh, able to teleport through walls. So, in a previous tutorial, I just did kind of basic teleporting around, um, but in this one, we're going to actually, you know, make it so you can go through a wall if if you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll go to uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an action mapping for our teleport button. So we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings go to input and now action mappings will hit the little plus here okay and we'll just call this teleport okay and we'll change this to the uh, right mouse button so basically whenever we press the right mouse button we'll activate this little teleport event okay so next thing we're gonna do is go to our uh, first person character and we're gonna open them up and we're gonna find some open space and we'll right click and say teleport and we're gonna use our action event for teleport okay so how we're gonna do this is we're gonna use a line trace to kind of um, you know fire out into the world and determine where we can teleport to okay so first thing we'll drag off of pressed and say line trace by channel and for the trace channel we'll do camera because pretty much everything blocks camera uh, by default which is good uh, and then we'll just do a for duration for the debug type just so you guys can see it All right next what we want to do is we want to take our first person camera drag it out here and we're going to use our camera as the starting point um, for where we want to draw the trace okay so we're going to say get world uh, location plug that into start all right next we want to get the forward facing direction of our camera so we'll say get forward vector okay and we're gonna take this vector right and right now it's normalized so that means it's only uh, the x value here which is the forward vector is only gonna be a value of one um, so basically we'll take that and we'll multiply it by a float and whatever value here that we enter will be um, however far into the world that it fires so uh, by default let's just do like I don't know a thousand so it'll fire a thousand units into the um, into the world. Next, we want to take our world location and say plus vector plus vector, and we'll add on this uh, multiplication that we just did, and that will get us the ending uh, trace value. Okay, so that's all good. Um, next, what we want to do is we want to take this return value here, and do a branch, because we want to see if we hit something. Okay, now. Um, if we didn't hit something, right, we're going to say teleport, call this teleport event, and the target will be ourself. And where we're going to teleport to is this, um, this end location here, so this value. So we'll drag that up, add a reroute node, drag it over, add another one. And this is just for you know, keeping things clean. You don't have to add these if you don't want to. Right, so that's for the false. Now for the true, Right, and actually, let's test this out really quick just to see what it's like. So right now, if I if I fire up into the world, I can like teleport around, kind of cool, right? But if the line trace hits something, I'm not doing anything. Right? I'm not teleporting. Okay, so next, let's handle that if we do hit something. Okay, so we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna break the hit result, um, and you just do that by hitting typing break the just like that. Okay, and basically. Um, wherever we hit, we're going to want to teleport to. Okay, so we're going to say teleport to this location if we hit something. So let's try that really quick. See, when we hit something, we just teleport to where the hit was. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, but now that doesn't cover going through things. Okay, so let's look at how we'll do that. So basically, what we're going to want to do is. Um, we're going to want to fire a another line trace starting at um, the end location and basically firing back towards the start location. Okay, so we're just going to flip the trace start and end basically. So we'll delete this teleport for now and we'll take our true and we'll say line trace by channel and we'll choose the same channel as before and again for duration. Okay, now for the start we want to use our trace end, okay, because you know we're doing an opposite kind of trace. So instead of you know firing this way, we're firing the other way. And now that trace end is going to be this same value here, this value, or the one that we plug in here. So we'll plug that into start, 
and now we'll take the trace start which is this value or our camera's lo world location and we'll plug that into end okay so now once we've done that we're going to want to break this hit result of the second one okay and we'll do um, a branch here and what we want to check with this branch is if we are initially overlapping something okay because if we're initially if the trace is initially overlapping something that means it's inside of an object okay so if it's inside of an object we don't want to teleport inside the object because obviously then we'd be stuck inside of it all right but if we aren't initially overlapping anything then that means um, that we um, are able to teleport you know past it and, th and through it okay that means you know so that essentially there's space on the other side for you to still go to okay so based on that knowledge um, if it is initially overlapping we'll say teleport um, and we're also going to use the teleport for the false uh, but the difference here is going to be for if we are overlapping we are going to want to use um, teleport us to the hit location here right from the first trace so we'll drag that over add some reroute nodes just to tidy it up a little bit okay but if we aren't initially overlapping so we're not inside of an, an object then we will teleport us to um, the trace start which as we recall is the trace end which is you know coming all the way back here the end of the initial trace okay so this will be basically it's it's a thousand units wherever we want it to go okay so that's what this trace start will be so you know we kinda did a flip-flop right we took the end in here and then we use that end as the new start so then that means that if we want to teleport to the end of where we can teleport we need to use the trace start okay so we'll compile and save now right and let's try this out so right now you know I can if I don't hit something I can teleport to wherever I I went um, but now if if it's not um, or if if there's space on the other side to teleport through okay so we'll try this out then we should just go right through and you see we went right through it and there's our line trace kinda showing here's the ending that it just showed so if there's space to go through we'll go through okay but now if there isn't space to go through, like trying to pass through that way, right? There's obviously not going to be enough space. It'll just teleport us to where we hit. So there you have it. There's how to teleport through walls. Pretty cool, I think. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and of course, you can certainly bump up the value of how far you teleport to make things cool there too. Uh, you can try that out and now it should be even cooler and you can fall out of the map if you want <laughs> um, but yeah anyways thanks for watching guys and i hope this helped and if you like the video like or subscribe and we will see you in the next one